we interrupt this broadcast to bring you an announcement. My name is David Iserson. I co-wrote The Spy Who Dumped Me with Susanna Fogel, co-writer and director of The Spy Who Dumped Me. Well, the movie basically follows two best friends who are around 30 and they're each other's greatest supporters and really on each other's team and they end up on this international espionage adventure, uh, escape mission through Europe, um, they get embroiled in this spy thing. We wanted to tell a story about two friends who really love, love and support each other and for whom the conflict is not between them. They're not competing over a man. They're not competing to be better than the other one. They're just each other's best friend. Um, and so they're, they're surmounting obstacles and learning about themselves and what they can do and what they can be. But it's not that they're tearing each other down. So that was important to us. We wanted to draw people who we identified with, who we related to, who had voices similar to ours into a situation where they were completely unprepared for. And part of the process kind of came from, you know, us saying, hey, if we were in a car chase, other than immediately dying, what would we do? Would we worry about our seatbelts? Would we use the, our directionals? What, you know, would we turn the lights on? I mean, what, what normal person comedy could we find in these extraordinary situations? Because we feel like you watch these Bond or Bourne movies and they always do everything right and yet there's like kind of a lack of humanity. They're these superhumans who just know what to do at all times, but we certainly wouldn't. Yeah. So we just thought there, there was a lot of, it was worth finding that, that humor. Ultimately, we would not have survived a minute in that situation. Yeah, a minute, but, a minute of our movie. The, but, but there was a certain, like, okay, what would I do if I had to, you know, drive a car and kill someone or whatever it was. So. Yeah, we have a combined total of several decades of, like, disillusionment, hard work, failures, just disappointments. It's just been a really long road. And so I think it. we both appreciate how like easy and smooth this process was and also know how rare that is um, and in a way I think we were a little bit just like perma exhausted from from the years of toil so yeah this movie so, yeah. happened and came together incredibly fast but it was because we've worked on so many things that did not come together fast or at all and I think that that really taught us a lot of lessons about you know what's worth your time when to give up only work with good people, like trust your instincts about people, all these lessons that like you can't learn unless you fail. Uh, so hopefully that's that's my positive spin on the years of failure, I think. Yeah. Well, it worked yeah. out. Worked you know. out. We made this great we movie. We made this we movie love. we love and we're excited to make more movies and yeah. I think that if you have fun writing something, then it then people can tell that when they read it and people can tell it when they watch it. And that um, don't necessarily worry about the politics and the networking and all of that. The most important thing is to just write something good and write something you love and people will find it. If, it's, if, if, yeah. if they can, they, if they should, they will. Yeah, I agree with that. And I would say that just as a director, I, um, I think that this, like my first movie was a very low budget movie about two friends that we shot in 18 days, um, very cheaply. And this was obviously a huge leap and I feel like I, I got in my head about it and I doubted I didn't know what it was going to be like, and I was really worried about like screwing it up. And I think at the end of the day, like it's always about the people you surround yourself with, and having faith in yourself, and being able to sort of like not get caught up in the politics and the drama, and just remember like that the only important thing is your job is just to make little decisions. It's just a lot of little decisions, and that's like all the job is. So anyway, on the other side of it, now I can say that if you get scared or get nervous about it. Just try to break it down into little doable tasks, and it's easier than you think. Well, easy is the wrong word, but it's 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 achievable. Yeah, we are really excited every time we get to do something like come to an event with other screenwriters or anything. We're just so happy to be part of this because we've sort of been on the outside, like looking in for so long, and it just feels really good. Comedy at its purest is humanity, is is personal, is 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 individual moments with people without the sort of weight of the world bearing down. I mean I think I think I think in sad times and happy times people laugh together and I think I, I think there's there's comedy in everything and it should be embraced. Yeah. Yeah, and I think that I, I think that as Dave was saying, just coming together through through comedy creates a sense of community and it's it's one of the most human kind of reactions is laughter so 
if you can laugh with people, then you can connect to them. So, yeah.